the story of the last golden bear warmed the hearts of millions around the world. Now, Goldie II returns to the screen. Set among the majestic redwoods of California, Goldie II tells the story of Jessie, an orphan girl, and her friendship with Goldie, the last golden bear in California. The evil circus owner, Boss Cooperman and his henchmen steal Goldie and destroy Jessie and her family's peaceful life. But in the spirit of Mark Twain's Huckleberry Finn, Jesse and Goldie fight back. What's going on? The bear is Don't miss Goldie 2, The Saga of the Golden Bear, a film for the whole family. I brought you a special present. A book? That's right. When I was your age, television was called books. And this is a special book. It was the book my father used to read to me when I was sick, and I used to read it to your father. And today, I'm going to read it to you. What's it about? It's about this beautiful girl named Buttercup and her true love, Wesley. Since the invention of love, there have been seven truly great romances. Wesley and Buttercups was easily in the top three. Hold it, hold it. Is this a kissing book? Wait, just wait. Surrender! Death fast! You think it's easy to hang on to a good relationship? Wesley! This guy, Wesley, has to climb up the cliffs of insanity. Inconceivable. Doomed to the death. Battle a giant. Inconceivable. And wrestle oh. a very large rat. And all this in the first two chapters. Inconceivable. You keep using the horn. I do not think it means what you think it means. There's a miracle man. What? What? Are you the miracle Max who worked for the king all those years? The king's thinking son fired me. And thank you so much for bringing up such a painful subject. While you're at it, why don't you give me a nice paper cut and pour lemon juice on it? We're closed! An evil genius. Yeah, that's smart. Have you ever heard of Plato, Aristotle, Socrates? Yes, morons. Did I mention there was a giant? Yes, Grandpa. Victor. All right, all right. There's also a major case of revenge going on here. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. And maybe just a little bit more romance. Do we have to hear the kissing part? Someday you may not mind so much. The Princess Bride. Not just your basic, average, everyday, ordinary, run-of-the-mill, ho-hum fairy tale. human. They've never spoken. I can't control it. And until now... I still say it's human, David. It's part of you. They've never seen each other. A man of science. Why should I trust you? Because I'm on the run. Just like you. During moments of anger or fear, it secretes a hormone and I become a mutant thing. That's incredible. An incredible nightmare. And I want to destroy it. Be human again. A creature of incredible strength. You're a monster that kills people. The Incredible Hulk. Now, a top secret experiment. You know the risks better than anyone. Including death. Yes. Is about to bring Dr. David Banner. Don't resist. <laughs> face to face with the rage within him. I've never seen it before. Find him. He may know the formula. 
There's a cabin in the hills above the laboratory. Let's go. It's his last chance. There is a chance that I can rid you of this thing to live as a normal human being. Tell me we can just leave it all behind and go away, David. To love as a man. I haven't had that kind of life for a long, long time. This is God. And to free himself forever. Okay, but I have to cut the power. Please, no! Bill Bixby. I'm no killer. Lou Ferrigno. Could this be the end of Dr. David Banner? Take off! Now! Or just the death of the Incredible Hulk? Out of the desert they came. A boy and a fabulous horse. The horse is named Cham, Your Excellency, he was born as the sun rose in the heavens and the boy named him. Together, they forged an unspoken friendship. He's asking that you might include him in the party that you're sending to France. To face the hazards of a cruel alien world. Get it over. <laughs> the boy is a mute, Your Majesty. I understand his name is Agba. You're gonna lose him soon, I hope you know that. Mm -hmm. Might as well enjoy him while you've got him. I have a new job for you in that nag of yours. I'm short of cart horses. Hungry, is he? Well, he'll have to work a lot harder before he gets any more food out of me, lad. This should do that trick. Keep your distance! Not fit to own a horse. In bad times, and in good times, they were inseparable. An Arabian, he is. Boy. Well, he came with the horse. In adversity, they were thrown apart. <laughs> well, now, what have we here? Little infidel charged with murder, Blueskin. United, they rode like kings of the wind to create a legend. Frank Finley, Jenny Agater. <laughs> Nigel Hawthorne, Navin Chowdhury, and a host of international stars. <laughs> With Glenda Jackson as Queen Caroline, and Richard Harris as King George II. <laughs> In King of the Wind.